Manufacturing is still the third largest part of the UK economy and it's vital that we look at manufacturing as an area for growth for the UK's economy. So investment in skills and advanced manufacturing is critical at this stage. Apprentices and a skilled workforce are essential if you want to have a successful enterprise. We have a requirement for really deep technical knowledge in our employees. So being able to create that and design that is very important to us. The more businesses that invest in skills, the more successful our economy will be. The best thing about an apprenticeship in advanced manufacturing is that nothing can match it. Such broad-based learning, such as the MVQ that we're getting, and the university degree, it's the best out there. Within the UK CES, my particular role is to lead the team that is developing the approach to vocational skills within the UK, making them more accessible and actually causing business to make a greater investment in vocational skills. We found that working with other employers gives a real good perspective from, from the employer's point of view. As a group of like-minded companies, we formed a board and with the help from the Sector Skills Council, SEMTA, and some funding from the National Apprenticeship Service, we pulled our ideas together and defined how the higher apprenticeship in advanced manufacturing should work. It's about all of us sharing our best practices to develop a framework that will meet the needs of all of our businesses and for the young people that will be going through the programme. We're doing exactly what they're doing on the shop floor, basically. We're riveting, we're bolting, and we're learning the foundations uh, in which to be competent engineers in the future. The quality of the training that I'm receiving on the higher level apprenticeship is extremely good. Uh, BA systems spend a lot of time making sure that the university degree is tailored to meet the expectations and standards of the company. The employer ownership of skills gives us a great opportunity to move from what we have today, which is a series of government initiatives where industry and business is incentivised to be part of those initiatives, to one where the employers are defining what those skills initiatives should look like. We're working with skilled professionals that have worked in the field or still are working in the field and we're also working around aircraft, wings and with the materials that we will be using in our career. Well we can develop the programme in line with what our business needs are. So we've got a, a changing in technology where we're now introducing composite materials into the build of the aircraft and we're able to now ensure that that uh, composite materials is embedded into the programme. It's only by getting involved at the design stage of these types of programmes that we can ensure those programmes deliver the right skills and capabilities we need for our businesses and for the country in the future. Getting an apprenticeship is just a fantastic way to get a great career, fantastic prospects, I mean, with a company like Fault, the sky's the limit. The project is fantastically successful. We've already got 300 new starts this year and it's set to grow and grow from there. This apprenticeship is allowing me to progress my career quickly in this industry. Um, I hope I have a very bright future ahead in advanced manufacturing. It's a great way to earn while you learn and it's also a great way to transfer classroom skills into the workplace. Definitely the experience is one in a million. I'm really happy that I chose such an apprenticeship. The UK has a very strong heritage of advanced manufacturing and the future is very bright. I think the time is right for all businesses to grasp the initiative, to work out what skills they need, not just as individual businesses, but across their sector, across their supply chain, and work in partnerships to create the opportunities for skills development. The time is right now.